Hey Bubble folks, what's up? This is Damien from BubbleHacks.io. Welcome to another 5-minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the iPhone status bar color when you build progressive web apps with Bubble. So for demo purposes, I prepared a very simple app. It's basically just an empty page with a background color and just for fun, an image that's aligned to the middle. So if I open this page on my phone using Safari, it looks pretty much as expected. We see our blue page. It also covers the status bar on the top. And if you drag it around, Safari has accepted the blue color as general background. But the problem begins when we now add this page as a progressive web app to our phone. To do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and select add to home screen and then open it up. It's this here, bubble hacks, open it up from here. What we see is that now our status bar or notch area as it sometimes is called is not colored. So what's the issue here? The iPhone has a so-called notch area or status bar, which is reserved for iOS indicators. So on older iPhones, this is just this very small green area up here, but on newer iPhones, it's much larger up here. And then there's also a smaller area down here. So luckily Apple has given us a pretty easy way to manage the appearance of the status bar. If you do a quick Google search, you will find a lot of different articles relating to that. I'm just going to go with that one. And if I scroll down here, we can see that iOS basically has three different types of status bar. There's a default status bar, which is a white background with black text and symbols. There is a black status bar with black background and text that makes it appear completely black. And then there is a black translucent status bar, which sets our background the same as our body background and uses white text and symbols. So it should look something like this. That's exactly what I want to use. So I'm just going to copy this meta tag and then go ahead and put it and put it into the header of my app. Also, if I go back here and scroll a bit up, we see that we need to use an automate attack before in order to make the whole thing work. So I'm just going to copy this again, go back to my app, put it up here. And then the last thing that we need to do, if I'm just going to scroll down, we need to use CSS to adjust the background color of our body. So I'm just going to copy this one, go back to my app, grab some HTML tag, put this on the page. And then the first thing that I want to do is open and close some style tags. This lets the browser know that in between these tags, we're going to define some CSS styles. Okay. But the last thing that I need to do is adjust the color here. Okay, I'm going to just grab this color. Let's put this in here. Let's also make the whole thing smaller and move it to the background so that it doesn't interfere with our app. Right now, if I'm going to bring up my phone, I'm going to refresh and voila, our full status bar is covered. And that's pretty much it for today. If you want to follow me, hit me up on Twitter at Damian Yancey or send me an email at Damian at bubblehacks.io. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye.